Hey everyone, today's video is going to be my review of the EXO Beauty brushes. I'm really, really excited to show you guys these. I have been using them for about two weeks now and I feel comfortable to be able to give you a really good review. I have two different sets to show you all today. Um, so if you want to, check the down bar and I will have the time that you need to go to if you want to just see the second set of brushes that I'm showing. So just check down below. I'll also have links to the website, pricing, all that sort of stuff down there. So definitely check it out. Alright, so just a little bit of background on the brushes. They're made by Shan XO, who is a really big... YouTuber now. I can't believe it. I used to subscribe. I was subscribed to her when she had like, uh, 10. I think it was below 10 subscribers, and now she's got 250,000. It's insane. So, yeah, I just can't believe it. But anyways, that's beside the point. So she designed these brushes, and they were released two weeks ago, two to three weeks ago, and I received some for review, which was so sweet. I would have bought them either way because I was very excited to try them, um, and. The big kind of issue with these is that because it's a new brand, a lot of people don't know if they're good or not, and I'm here to help you guys with that because I personally think they are amazing, and they're pretty much the only brushes that I use now. Alright, so the first set I'm going to show you all today is this set here. This is called the Four Piece Synthetic Kabuki Brush Set. You can buy each of these individually for 26 or you can buy the four of them for 80 So in here you get just your standard basic flat top kabuki, which just looks like this, and the brush itself kind of looks like that. I really like the logo, I think it's very very cute. Then we've got this one which is definitely one of my favourites and it is the EXO Beauty Rounded Kabuki. You can see it's got the round top to it. We've got the um, angled brush, which looks like that. See it's kind of just the same sort of shape as a um, rounded one, it's just got a slight sort of um, slant to it. This one which I find very very interesting is the pointed Kabuki brush. All of these brushes in both sets are so easy to clean. Um, I find that just with a tiny bit of shampoo and water, majority of the colour will come out of it. I know occasionally you'll need to deep cleanse them, but for like a normal sort of clean, they are great. I haven't needed to deep cleanse them yet because I've just been cleaning them regularly and all the colour and product comes out, which I think is really good. So definitely like that about them. Another thing to do with washing them is they dry super duper fast. Like really really fast like within 10 minutes depending on how much water you put in within 10 minutes I could have used some of these brushes again so that's really cool like 10 minutes to 2 hours is probably the frame that you'd need to wash them. I really briefly wanted to talk about the uses of each individual brush so the flat top brush I use this for foundation and I also use it for powder and same thing with the rounded top one but I do prefer the flat top for powder and the round top one Sorry, the flat top one for foundation, the rounded one for powder. Reason being is because I feel with the rounded one, because it's more kind of shaped like a powder brush, I feel like it works better for powder, but they both work great. I think this one, just the shape of it, helps me be able to buff it in really well into my skin just a little bit more. It is all personal preference, but I do prefer this one ever so slightly, but either of them can be used for that job. Really quickly, I just wanted to show you guys a comparison to the Sigma brushes. They are almost identical. I'd say that the EXO Beauty one is softer. The brushes are so amazingly soft. Can't really do a thorough comparison because this is dirty. I can't clean it perfectly. I find Sigma brushes really hard to clean. Same thing with e.l.f. brushes. I think these are really, really simple to clean, which is great. So you can see they're very, very simple. The only difference really is the colour of the bristles, the logo, and the fact this has a matte handle. Another thing that I want to talk about really briefly is that the actual brushes make themselves a really high quality, like the... Is it the ferrule or the barrel? Whatever. It's on there. It's not wiggly. It's not, you know crooked like I've seen sometimes perfectly aligned perfect another thing that I use the round top brush for just while we're talking about it is I actually use it for applying cream blushes I feel like it's size and it's kind of how soft it is really helps to blend it in it just gives the most gorgeous finish I haven't been able to apply a cream blush properly until now interesting fact because this brush makes it so much easier all right so the angled top brush I use this for applying bronzer I use it today to bronze my face you probably can't see because the lighting's very bright but I did use this to bronze my face today and I really like this brush it just it's just great because it kind of applies the bronzer and blends it out at the same time and it's not I know it's quite big but it's not too big that it applies it badly so I kind of Put the brush in the product, wipe it off on the back of my hand so all the excess comes out. Just do my thing, dust the brush out and then buff it out a little bit just to make sure that it's all looking really good. Next one is my pointed kabuki brush. This one I pretty much just use for contouring. Like I think this will be good for doing foundation, concealer, highlighting, but I really solely use it for contour because it's just got such a fine point. Like you guys can't really see, but it's very, very small point like probably about the size of your pinky finger so 
yeah, I kind of just apply it with the tip of the brush, turn it to the side and just blend it out. All of these brushes work amazingly. Um, I definitely recommend them if you're looking for some Kabuki brushes because I think they're really, really good. They're just so soft and out of all the other ones that I've used, they don't really retain product um, at all in the sense that if you wanted to use them again, like for example, you only could buy one brush, let's just say that. Buying the round top brush, you could use it for foundation, then just sort of dust it off on the back of your hand, and majority of the product comes out, so you can actually go ahead and use it in a cream blush. La 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 la. Want to apply powder now, dust it out on the back of your hand, majority of the product comes out, so now you can go into a powder without having to worry about contamination or anything like that. So I think that's a really great feature in these brushes. I don't think that it was intentional, but the fact that that is there I find very, very helpful. Alright, so the second set I'm going to be showing you is this one here. It's kind of hard to hold them all up, so I'm going to show you them one by one. But this is a nine-piece synthetic kit. Um, this retails at 91 and you get nine brushes, so that's a really good value. I find them all useful. There's probably only one in here that I don't use regularly. So I'm going to go through all of the brushes really quickly, then I'm going to kind of do an in-depth talk about each one. So first off we've got the powder brush and the difference with these brushes is that the handles are very very long which I think is to give you the option if you want to hold them kind of like far away you can do that, if you want to hold them close you can do that, you're not really restricted from where you like to push, uh, place your hands and it also has the little label right here. Exact same make, exact same logo, both got matte handles. But this is the powder brush which is just your generic kind of powder brush. Next I've got the blush brush and I use this today so it's slightly pink but just looks like this. Got what they call the shimmer brush which is just a fan brush. We've got a foundation brush which is a typical kind of pointed foundation brush. We've got an eyeshadow brush which just looks like this but then when you actually look at the brush it's angled which is really interesting. We've got the blending brush which is massive. If you... We've got the eyebrow brush which as the name would suggest is an angled eyebrow brush. Then we've got the eyeliner brush which is a really tiny kind of brush that's perfect for doing eyeliner. And finally we've got the lip brush which is just ever so slightly bigger than the previous one. With these brushes I found that they were very similar if not identical in the sense that they were really easy to clean. They also could be wiped out and used again with another purpose. I just really like them, they're all as soft, there's one brush in here, two brushes that are just so soft. I haven't had a single brush out of all of these that are rough or scratchy or slightly, you know, they've been amazingly like kitten soft, just so, so soft. So I'm just really, really impressed. The long handle is not really of use for me because I hold my brushes very, very close to the tip, but if you were the kind of person, I know a lot of people do this, who likes to hold it away to get a very kind of diffused look then this would be absolutely perfect for you, but for me it's not really useful, but I do get to kind of store them um, so that they look very attractive because they're very tall handles. Okay, so the powder brush is one of the brushes that I don't really use that often because I've never been a powder brush person. I'm more of a flat top or a blush brush kind of person. I don't really just, I don't apply bronzer with one of these, but I have seen this be used to apply bronzer, and it is nice for applying face powder because it's so soft, it's not scratchy, whereas I find majority of the powder brushes that I've tried have just been really, really scratchy, and this one is like the second softest brush in the kit, but I really, really do like this brush. Okay, so next I've got the blush brush, which is the angled blush brush. I like this, this one is just the softest brush that I've ever felt in my life, no joke. And I use this every single day for applying my blush. I kind of just apply it, whack it on, so simple, really easy. The way this brush is kind of designed helps to diffuse the product out over my cheek, which I really like as well. So next I've got my foundation brush, and this is a paddle foundation brush. And if you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you'll know that I don't actually use these. Not for the fact that like I don't like them, I just feel like for the time that you use to apply your foundation, it doesn't look better. Like... It looks the same as it would if you use a flat top, and flat top takes like two minutes, whereas this one takes five, you know? It's just an example, but you know what I mean? They take are uh, quite time consuming, but I did use this once, and I found that it didn't have as many streaks as some other brushes that I've used. I don't know if that's because my skills improved, but I found that it was a really nice brush. So next I've got the Shimmer brush, which is a fan brush, and before this brush, I'd never actually used a fan brush. I've always thought, you know, I want to try one, but are they even useful? And then through this, I found out, yes, they are very, very useful. I use this to just sort of flick away um, fallout when I have fallout. I also use it to highlight my cheekbones. I think it just gives a really, really nice finish to the um, highlight. I use the same highlight as before, but I feel like now it looks a lot nicer because of the way that it's applied. Next is the eyeshadow brush, which is the kind of angled one. This is quite a thick brush, which I like. 
Um, I have used this to apply shadow to my lid and into my crease and blending it. I don't really like it for applying shadow to the lid because the shape of it makes it quite difficult to kind of pack on colour but if you're just going for a wash it would be fine. But in the crease I think it's amazing because I sort of apply it sideways like that at first then I flip it so that it's the like it's longer than I blend it out. I feel like it works really well for that. Next is the XO Beauty blending brush. This brush as I mentioned earlier is huge. I really like that though because I use this for concealer and both under eyes and all over my face and then I can also use it to blend out my eyeshadows. As I said just sort of dust the brush out and the product comes out of the tips of the brush and then I can go ahead and blend. This is absolutely amazing for blending. Okay so next is the eyebrow brush. Now this one I feel as though it's... when I first got it I was like an eyebrow brush is an eyebrow brush. Every eyebrow brush applies the exact same. Blah 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 blah. Really deluded thinking that all eyebrow brushes are the same. Through using this I found that the, they are different. This eyebrow brush is so much better than the other ones that I've been using. I can't say that my eyebrows necessarily look better but I find that it's a lot easier for me to apply my brow product and I feel like I don't have to spend as much time doing it. And I think it just looks a little bit crisper. Right, so this next brush is probably the brush that I've used the least and I haven't completely trialled it out. But it is the eyeliner brush. And it's just a really, really tiny, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's a really, really tiny brush. Um, it's very, very similar to the lip brush. The lip brush is slightly bigger but it's domed at the top instead of pointed. But this is just kind of designed to use to apply gel eyeliner. Personally, I don't use gel which is why I haven't tried it to its fullest potential. But um, I really do think that this brush will be great for that. It is like stiff enough that it's not going to be flipping all over the place but slightly flexible so that you can kind of do wings and stuff without it kind of being like stiff and like yeah. And the final brush is a lip brush. As I said it's very similar to the uh, eyeliner brush but it's just slightly bigger and kind of domed almost flat top. This is amazing for applying lip products, let's just say that straight away. It works really great to apply lipsticks, lip glosses, it just help, it just blends them out perfectly and it kind of it is really stiff which is great because my last lip brush was literally floppy and it would get lip product everywhere which is why I never use lip brushes but this one just makes it so much simpler. I didn't use it today to apply this lipstick which I probably should have done but whatever. Um, and I also love this for applying colour underneath the lower lash line. I feel like because it's quite, it is actually quite a big brush you guys won't be able to see but it is quite a big brush um, surprisingly and I find that because of that fact I can really easily sort of apply colour along the lower lash line because it's big enough that it's going to apply a lot of it, um, a lot of it in a good way but it's not too big that it's going to you know give you raccoon eyes so I really do like that fact about it. Alright so before I finish up I totally forgot to mention packaging to you guys. It's probably one of the coolest things about this is how they came packaged. I thought it was really really nice. Very high quality. I can't comment on shipping because it was sent to me and I didn't like purchase it on a certain date um, but from what I hear the shipping took about a week from the first shipment um, and that was to New Zealand. I'm not too sure how long it'll take overseas. Right, so my brushes all came in this silver kind of bubble wrap bag. This is going to ruin my lighting, but silver bubble wrap bag. And uh, when I say bubble wrap bag, like the bubble wrap is inside the bag. Can't pop it. That's weird. Anyways, it's beside the point. And it's just got my address on the other side. And it's got a little Exo Beauty little kind of like sticker thing right there, which is really cute. I really really like that, I just know, I like pretty bags. Some things get sent in really ugly packaging but that bag's really pretty so. And then it also came with um, business cards tied around each brush set which is so, oh the lighting is insane, EXO Beauty and it's got a really cute little hole punched heart and then it just came wrapped in this pretty pink kind of pearly iridescent wrapping around each and every package of brushes but if you just get one brush I know they'll still be wrapped like this. They also came with little plastic kind of um, sheaths around them and some brushes actually came with like brush guardy things. All right, so that's it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any more questions please post down below or check out the brush website which will also be linked off down there. Um, I think I covered everything. I really hope I did and hope I'm not going to stop filming and realise I missed out a really important part. But yeah, overall I'm very very happy with these brushes. I think all of them would have a place in a person's collection. I mean if you have a bajillion brushes maybe you don't need these but if you're kind of, I wouldn't say that I'm starting out but in the, in the way of makeup brushes I really am starting out. I don't have very many at all. So this was an amazing collection addition to my collection. So really really glad to have these and yeah do definitely feel free to ask me questions. I will be more than happy to help you all. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye!